Gaitha Corbin and I am the co-founder and CEO of the CDCRC Inc which stands for Community Development Corporation Resource Consortium Inc. Say that for you. Um, we began our journey on this in 2001 with a current town hall meeting that I pulled together when I was with a local and regional bank and it consists of 82 other agencies, businesses, banks, and other nonprofits where we do collaborative efforts in the urban area. Well, when I was working in the banking industry here in Dayton, Ohio, I saw a lot of the, particularly the west side and the urban and the minority community being disenfranchised financially. And I also saw that a lot of the other agencies were, were not working together to leverage what they already had. It's like, it was like the best kept secret in town. Everybody else knew how valuable they were but us. So we created this collaborative effort to leverage current resources, take what we have and make it greater. Um, so that was the passion behind it and still is a driving force. We have three divisions where we do financial literacy for families, individuals, young people, seniors. Our partners under financial literacy are all seven banks, a credit union, HUD, SBA, Job and Family Services, DMHA, um, State of Ohio, and so forth. Under financial literacy, we do budgeted, credit repair, post and pre foreclosure counseling. Uh, we have an angel auto program with uh, low to moderate income families and business owners can purchase a car and, and at the same time rebuild their credit that's based on their budget. Uh, we also have the Rescue Fund, um, which falls under our post and pre foreclosure counseling and renters counseling so they can keep their house and keep their rent going. Um, then our second division is micro enterprise development, meaning we do small business development for urban small business owners, uh, women business owners, and veterans. We are an SBA site where we do technical assistance for small businesses and we, have, we house a uh, loan program, micro loan program here at the CBCRC for startups. And then our third division is the Dayton Area Grant Center, which is our for-profit venture, where we help other grassroots nonprofits build their capacity and get their house in order so they can continuously serve the community. And so it all works together. So if the family's doing well, then the, the businesses are doing well because the families are able to support the businesses. And if the business is doing well, then they can be philanthropic and help the small small nonprofit. So our vision is creating community wealth and that's the way that we do it. Collaborative with a collaborative with other agencies and, and other entities. Um, to get it started I had to have a great team. We had seven great steering committee members that went on this journey with me. So I have a great board. Um, I have a great team here. Um, case manager, office manager, and receptionist that kind of keeps me going. Um, so I would say creating great synergy with other people that have the same vision kind of helped me propel to do this. You know, I wouldn't recommend doing the nonprofit for everybody. Well, it was challenging as far as getting funding from certain, like from federal or state level, because we're the new kid on the block and we're grassroots, and we don't apologize for that. We are small in numbers, but big in heart, and actually we're more national than what I thought until I start traveling around, because I mean, now we're, you know, internet, inter, internet base, you know, we have a website and all that, but the bankers, because I'm an ex-banker, <laughs> the financial institution side of it was really relatively a blessing, because we came in saying we're going to roll our sleeves up and prepare the families, the business owners, and the other nonprofits before we put them before you to get funds. 
So they know that we are a true catalyst for them to do a good job. So actually, we've been a blessing to a lot of financial institutions because we handhold those clients and we enjoy the handholding side of it. We case manage those business owners who are looking to get capital, um, where to start when they have a fresh idea and, and no business plan or don't even know what a financials are before they get in front of one of our loan officers or before they go for nonprofits, we don't put them in front of a grant maker or an RFP until they have their strategic plans done or their board developed. So they like us, <laughs> they like us now. <laughs> we deal with um, clients a base that, that feel like there's no hope we, we've been blessed to give them some type of hope, but they know how to work for it for themselves. Most people don't want a handout. They just want a handout and show me how to fish. So the CDCRC shows those clients how to fish. Same with nonprofits. They have the same, we have so many wonderful nonprofits, others that we've served or do grant writing, collaborative efforts with, where they have a vision that God has given them and we just come in and help them get the foundation laid, get some of their first seed money and they're out there doing it. They're taking care of families, they're handling with ex-offenders. It's, it's, the list is endless that what we do. Small business owners up and down this corridor we've helped um, in the West Dayton area, they, they're gone on and I, I, I'm very honored that for the last 11 years we were able to serve this community in the way that we have. We you know, just bought this facility where we're at at 323 Salem. We are looking to uh, roll out in 2012 our Urban Green Initiative. We are looking to make the building green and energy efficient uh, in the hood. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I love my utility company, but uh, I can't function if my utilities are an issue. And it is not just me. We're rolling this urban um, green initiative to other nonprofits and other small businesses because that is the biggest expense for a lot of us to keep our doors open. And why not go green? It's responsible and it's fiscally sound. So we're going to be the guinea pig <laughs> um, to go green in a big way. We are in partnership with the university, a local university here on this. Uh, we'll be putting um, together a round table by the end of the month, by the end of February, beginning of March, we'll put that out there so you can come and get educated how to become energy efficient at your home and at your business and nonprofit. No, be, do something that you love, even if it's for profit. Um, if you ha already hate your job and then you switch over to own a company and you don't even like doing what you're doing, you're not gonna put 100% in. You need to put in 150% of your time and money and effort. So make sure it's something that you really are passionate about and believe. Um, be ready for a sacrifice. It is not easy. People think that this is the glamour, glamour life, you know, but it's not. Uh, it is hard work and sacrifice and involve uh, the people around you, your family, all your family people. I'm a single mom and my kids were with me through the whole process and they know how to put a business together plan better than I do. Hallelujah. <laughs> Um, so involve your family, um, know that it's going to be a sacrifice even for them, um, especially on a business. There's going to be some lean time, but in the end, it's going to pay off big time because it's yours and it's your baby and you get to see it grow and be birthed. So just know the sacrifice and involve your family and friends that will support you. That the CDCRC is here. We're here to try to stay, support us, pray for us. Uh, you know, we're here to serve your family members, uh, your business owners, and your churches and nonprofits who, who are trying to do the right thing and stay in this community. So, um, and know that it takes it, it takes more than just one. It takes a true community to see some uh, real wealth transfer in the urban community. Um, it, it takes all of us, not just one of us, so.